Today, we'll show you how to make a super easy motion sensor that sets off any Halloween prop when it senses movement. This works for any prop that plugs into an outlet. Today, I'll be the student along with you as my hubby, Austin, will be showing us how it's done. He's a lot more experienced with wires than I am. Uh, today, we're gonna be building a motion sensor. Uh, some people are calling it motion, motion sensor hack. Um, here's the finished product. This is what it looks like. We got a 12 foot extension cord. We have our electrical box and we have our motion sensor. So this is our finished product. And I'm gonna show you step by step how to make this. So you're gonna to need to go to the parts store. Uh, all this you can get one shot at uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, any, any hardware store. Um, this particular unit is, is common. You can get it anywhere. It's a lot cheaper than buying the whole entire um, motion sensor light set as we're not going to need the lights. Um, here's your motion sensor. <clears throat> this is what it looks like out of the box. All our wires and everything. Uh, this unit has a dual bright setup. Um, that will not be an issue. All that is doing is basically uh, automatic sensoring uh, when the sunlight goes down. Uh, for what we're going to be using this for, we don't need that. Right here, we have ourselves a three-hole gang box. Uh, you can go as far as a four-hole. Uh, I prefer a three. When you buy these, make sure that they are not opened. They'll come with caps. Um, we're gonna use one cap as our end holes will be used. Here, we have our 12-foot extension cord. Pretty simple. Uh, I've already gone ahead and cut my cord. Uh, we will not be needing the female end. Uh, I've gone ahead and cut these. I have not stripped them. I'll show you that. You'll be needing your electrical plug and an optional cover. As far as tools go, we need our electric drill, our strippers, a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead, a knife, and some wire cutters. So. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I'm going to take my uh, motion sensor and I'm just going to fish it through the hole. So we just kind of want it finger tight. They are made of plastic, they will break. So we'll just take our lines and kind of bring them out. What you're gonna need here is, if this was already connected, just take a box cutter, cut the outer housing, try not to uh, damage the electrical lines, and once you get that, uh, you're, you're, you're set to go. So the way we have it now, um, we're just gonna do the same thing on the, on the receiving end. We're gonna fish our line through. Uh, some people will like to put uh, wire crimps on the end. Um, we did that, uh, it, we got the wrong size. So for today, we're just gonna just kinda do a knot. Some people don't care for this, as for us, we're not uh, you know, trying to win any awards here. This is just simple, easy, and done. Okay, so we're gonna strip every wire we have on both motion sensor as well as our extension cord. We'll just get this out of the way. Get that one a little bit more. You don't wanna go too long, but you don't wanna be too short either. So now we're gonna take our electrical plug. It's almost, it's almost uh, color, color matching here. So we have two green wires. What we'll do with that is we're gonna connect both greens and we're gonna go green on our plug. Uh, both whites will go to the silver screw and our single red is gonna connect to our gold screw. So we'll just kinda, we'll just kinda do that for now. So I like to start with red just because it's the single wire. Um, it kinda makes sense for me. So when you do these, you guys need to uh, make sure that 
that you loop it with the rotation of your screw. And I like to use my flathead and kind of loop that cable right around that screw. As I tighten, it will keep a nice clean bite and I don't have to worry about that ever separating. So now we're just going to set this up right so you can see what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to take my two whites, which is a common power. We're going to twist them together just like so. Keep it nice and clean. And again, we'll twist her a little bit. Get it around that screw. We grab our flat head, twist it, get it nice and tight there, and we'll do our two greens, which is our ground. We're going to twist these together. Again, we want to make a nice clean connection, and we will put our green wires to our green screw. We want to keep that wrapped around so we keep a good connection and it's not going all over the place. All we're going to do here, pretty simple. Again, we're going to twist them together. We're going to grab our connecting screw. We're going to tighten that. They are threaded so it bites on nice and clean and as of that as you can see all this is nice clean and neat it's not going to start a fire or anything of that nature just grab this and this is where your electric drill comes into place you're not sitting here all day Now you can see that we have all of our wires in here, nice, clean, nice and neat. Nothing is exposed, nothing is hanging out of the place, so if for whatever reason a cap were to fall off, uh, you know, it's still safe to handle. And now we're our finishing touches, we're just going to put our cap on here, just to keep, a, keep it safe and clean, get it on there, and there you go. Motion sensor hack for a haunted house.